You guys always tell me that you can beat me at footy tic-tac-toe or football quizzes. Now's your chance to test it out in a prediction league that I have created with kickoff by Zuju. It is absolutely free to join. There's no betting aspect whatsoever with this. And all you've got to do is predict the upcoming football fixtures um, coming up in the calendar. And whoever comes top of my league has a potential chance to win a £100 football shirt. So a really great opportunity to click a few buttons, you know, make an account and you can win a really nice football shirt from the current season. So great opportunity for you guys to uh, win a very nice football shirt. And uh, yeah, obviously it will have a lot of fun seeing if you can uh, beat me at the lead. it will be a little bit awkward if I finish top of the leaderboard. That's all I'm going to say. So hopefully that isn't the case. Hopefully one of you guys that do join the league, you can leave a uh, comment of your username in the comment section and I'll add you to the lead. If you look out for the league invite, which you're on the app and signed up and all that good stuff, you can start playing once you're in my league and uh, see if you can get to the top. So make sure you do check out the link. It is down below. Hello, welcome to Footy Tic Tac Toe, the series in which you're mashing up two different things and find a play that has that in common. And today we're joined by Dave as a party. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you, mate. Yeah, looking forward to it. Been a big fan of the series, so a privilege to be on and uh, looking forward to testing my football knowledge. I'm looking forward to it as well. I've had a lot of comments saying get football manager creators on <laughs> and your name's actually come up a couple of times. So. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. Looking forward to this. You are a Wolves fan. Uh, what would you like to start with on the grid? But go on, let's, let's get Wolves out of the way nice and early. Let's get Wolves in first. Get them in. Nice. Yeah. Let's, let's go nice to start off and then we can build things up. Uh, we will say a bit of a player from, I'm trying to think of it, just a random club, AC Milan. Nice. Someone that played under Sir Alex Ferguson. Played under Fergie. Oh. Jurgen Klopp retired now. Who is the longest serving Premier League manager after Klopp then? Pep, maybe? Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, I think I think it is Pep, which is uh, kind of crazy. I it will go. Maybe go for a team in England. I always pick the same ones, but we'll go for Fulham. Let's finish off with it's quite topical for now. Maybe one Afcon. Yeah, Afcon winner. That's a good one. Could finish off with a nation, but then it'd have to be an African nation. <laughs> um, maybe not. Then let's go for anyone. Yeah, anyone to play in the Turkish league. What would you like to start with? I will go with. Let's go Fulham and Wolves, and I'll go with Raul Jimenez. Yes, I have Mario Lamina in my head. Yeah, didn't Mario, even, even think about Jimenez. He's literally there right now. <laughs> Well, let's go for the middle. Get that out of the way. Uh, we'll go Luis Saha. I will go then AC Milan Wolves and go Patrick Catrone. That was the one. The Italian. That's. I think that's the only Italian you've had for the club. Yeah, I can't think of many. I always have a thing with, and I don't mean this in a disrespectful way, there's very few Italians in the modern era that can come over to the Premier League and do well. A lot of them do genuinely struggle. Yeah. Catrone was a prime example of that. Um, Turkish League Wolves. Probably a dead obvious one, isn't there? <laughs> Have you got one for this? Is this I, I is have this got one. I don't mean there's, I don't mean yeah. there's a huge amount to be honest. I have got That's one. That's what I mean. Yeah. If it was Portuguese league, you would have been laughing, I think. But <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I didn't say that to be honest. That'd be a nice way to start. You might get the first round to be honest. I'm really struggling with this. I don't know why. This might be the only, because of the walls thing. This might be the only one I get to be. Yeah. Fair. <laughs> I guess. I guess I'll go Fergie Turkish league and we'll say nanny. Go on then. Who is yeah, the? So uh, went from Wolves to Besiktas, remain Sace for the Turkish you know, League. I was going to say Tech Sace, but I thought he went to um, the Saudi League as well, but no, obviously he's not. Yeah, he was at Besiktas, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Well done filling in that. Uh, AC you. Milan, Fergie. You can uh, have Beckham, David I was going to say the same, yeah. yeah. Nice, easy one. AFCON and AC Milan. Benassa yeah. with Algeria. Yeah. Full and AFCON. That might be tricky because Nigeria with the Wobi wouldn't work, I don't think. No, they, they've not won it for a while. There will be someone. Oh, mm. would um, Bode Balotore with Senegal. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's that's me. Go on. Got one in the end. And Afcon Turkish League, uh, Jovinho. Yeah, I was going to say there should be plenty of them there. Yeah, there's loads for that one. Cool. Into round number two. I get to start this time. And we will say, since we're wearing the Bruges kit, anyone to play in the Belgian League? Let's go win the European Championships, the Euros. Euros winner. I will say, just get them out of the, get them out of the way. I'll put Roma on. Let's go with. Yeah, pretty easy with the Roma one. Let's go managed by Jose Mourinho. Maybe to choose a player that he didn't manage at Roma, just to stipulate that, if that makes sense. That's fine. No, that's fine. Yeah. And I'll end off with... I was going to go Man United as well, but that'd be far too easy. <laughs> nation. But it'd have to be a nation that's won the Euros. Unless I do an old one. Yeah, we'll go uh, anyone from Denmark. Let's go Spurs. Southern Osper. Yeah. Nice. I get to start. And we will say Spurs Belgian League. Ivan Perisic played at Bruges. Let's go Danish Spurs. Uh, Christian Eriksen. Very nice. Boyberg as well. 
Yeah. I think they're the only two that I can think of. Euros winner and Denmark, Peter Schmeichel, back in 88 or whatever it was, or 92. It's one or the other. So Roma managed by Joe, so obviously not whilst they were at Roma. I think when Mourinho was at United, he would have managed Mkhitaryan. Yeah, I can remember Mkhitaryan. I'll allow that. Even though he managed him at Roma as well. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> he, managed did Belsa, he left. He left the season after, like yeah. after they won the conference. I didn't realise he was in that conference winning team. Yeah. To be fair. You always won in a Belgian league. That's that's interesting. I'm hoping it's possible. Mm. There will be someone at some point in history because the recent finals you got obviously Italy. Can't really think of any Italians in the Belgian league. No. And then Portuguese in the Belgian league. Doubt it from that squad. And then. Spain didn't really get many of them. And it's quite a niche league, really. It's 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 one of those leagues where it's not necessarily yeah, a league Belgians. plays. Yeah, only yeah. Belgians will go back to as well when they're older as well. I wonder if there's like a Greek that that might be mm. the kind of level. I think Greek or French is probably the best bet. Or even a German from '96, but that's a punt. What would be best? Probably a Frenchman from that year. Do you know, what? I'll come back to that. I think we will go. Hmm. Did he get a winner's medal? I think he did. We'll go Roma Euros winner Spinazzola. Shout. Yeah, he got injured early on in the tournament. Yeah, right? I think he was doing quite well in the tournament as well. Before we got mm. injured. All right, for now, I'm quite confident that you're not going to get that Euros winner Belgium. Neither am I, to be honest. So I'm going to go with. There's a few. Belgians that I can think of that Mourinho's may have managed mm. but it's where they started their careers I'm going to take a, a punt at possibly Belgian League Mourinho Marouane Fellaini Fellaini not too sure if the years add up it's around that sort of time that he may have moved on no that does work Stan does it? Age for uh, Fellaini so I need Denmark managed by Jose Pierre Hoiberg yeah <laughs> the one we mentioned I mean you could take some pot if you know any 2000 I think that's probably the year the Europe, Europe 2000 French squad so you're thinking like teams like Anderlecht may have had some decent French players I, 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 I bet this one does work there'll be a few players but it might just be those ones where we've got to go back quite far to think of them I, I don't know but then thinking of a Roma Spurs player as well I bet there's one that's shouting for there. that yeah, there's plenty for that. Yeah. It doesn't really matter the sports right because neither of us win it from that anyway. Yeah. So it's that Euros winner Belgian League. I'm just trying to think if there's any sort of niche niche shouts there. But it's, again, it's like there's players that have gone back there, but it's players that Belgian players mainly, or, or you know, and, and gone back to all sort of end their career there. Mm. Can't think of anyone younger or from the, on the from the French division. I'll just have a shout, sort of based on what you were saying about the French team. I'll just have a shout at, I know it's completely wrong, someone like Trezor Gay. I know it's completely wrong. So. Yeah, that was the one I was going to actually try, you know. Yeah. I was like, he's got so many clubs. Maybe he just did a little bit there or something. He started at the Argentinian League in Monaco, Juve, Hercules in Spain. That's, that's yeah. And Abu Dhabi, back to Argentina, and then India. Yeah, no, <laughs> no Belgian league. No. Um, another one like that I'll try is Sohan Wiltord. See if he's... That, was, that would have been my next guess. I just thought yeah. of him after I said it. <laughs> so you got Ren, Deportivo La Coruña. So, no, it's all French league and Arsenal. Mm. It's annoying. <sighs> We've got one or two more punts. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I might go for... I think it might have just been before Petit, maybe. Yeah, I think he's only got like three clubs, to be fair. It's like Monaco, Arsenal, Barca. Oh, and Chelsea, yeah. yeah. There's probably people screaming at their screens and phones right now <laughs> with some right answers to this one. Mm. I'm going to try... I don't even know about his career whatsoever. We're going to try uh, Liz Lizarou, the left yeah, back. Yeah, left back, yeah. That's only because of FIFA knowledge. Oh, yeah, I've got him this year. Good player. <laughs> Where's he play? I know he play. Yeah, Bayern Munich. Marseille, Bilbao. That's weird that he played at Bilbao, but he's yeah. not Basque. But yeah, no, no Belgian league. Let's have a Google and see for you if you can actually get it. Belgian league. No Belgian winners, obviously. It was a bit of a bit of a random choice there for me. Yeah. I don't even know how I'd like find the answer if that makes sense, because nobody's gonna Google. No, you'd have to like literally search and through the squads, yeah. I'm so I still can't think of a Spurs Roma one. I think there's gonna be a really obvious one here as well. Yeah. Do you want me to I'll give you that if you want Eric Lamella is the there one you go, right? yeah. Or or Fazio, the centre back as yeah. well. Yeah, I'm looking at this French team and I couldn't even like pinpoint a player that might have done it. Probably be a player like from uh, who played for Anderlecht or something like that. Mm. There will be somebody, but uh, let us know if you do know, guys. Well done if you do know Belgian League Euros winner, but we'll call it a draw there. Yeah. And go on to the next round. <laughs> Into round number three, what would you like to start with? Let's, let's go with relegated from a top division club. Let's say Man United, since obviously one of them before. Uh, let's go Irish. Lovely. Republic. Republic, I see. Yeah, Republic, yeah. Yeah, just checking. Um, <laughs> both does work, to be fair. Let's go. 
go into Milan. Let's say Aston Villa. Yeah, big team in the Midlands. <laughs> Not quite the biggest. Yeah, Derby in the Midlands. <laughs> go anyone to play in the MLS. My final one. What would you like to start with? Let's go with... United relegated. We'll take a punt at Johnny Evans. Johnny Evans for Leicester. Yeah, that would work. Yeah. I'll go Inter Milan and Irish Robbie King. Because if you put him in the MLS, there might not be another Irishman at Inter Milan. Yeah. I know quite a few on the board, but I'm trying to think of the best way to basically block mm -hmm. you off. And the ones that are obvious here, why can't I think of them? By MLS, are we saying, can we branch out to team like, uh, you know, the national, whatever they've got, or are we just strictly MLS? You know, they've got like, the NACL or whatever it's called. Yeah, I'll let you have that. As well. Just, I'll go yeah. with relegated MLS and go with Kevin Foley. He used to play for Wolves. I think he played in America. If not, I'm going to look at it. Absolute idiot here. I think Coben Hagen. Oh, I think he coaches there. <laughs> yeah, he's the coach at uh, oh, Tampa Bay Tampa Rowdies. Bay. Oh, no. Yeah. Thought he played there. Absolute <laughs> nightmare. Oh, no. Uh, that's a funny one. <laughs> I'll let you have another go at it. Uh, I'll go Villa Man United. And I will say... I'll just go Schmeichel again. There's going to be loads of these, especially from the Premier League. There's going to be loads of players that move over to America. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Liam Ridgewell? Do you know what the crazy... I was literally thinking of Liam Ridgewell at the same time, yeah. I'm pretty sure he was. I know he played in America. I'd assume he had a relegation on his CV. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah. 2011 and then 2011-12 in the championship with uh, I think he did it twice actually with, Villa, uh, with Birmingham. Relegated top division and Inter Milan. The thing is with this, I could probably shout a Italian. I've got an interesting shout for that one, actually. Ooh, would that work? I'm going to try for QPR, Julio Cesar. Oh, I was literally about the same th I was going to say the same thing as <laughs> That's well. That's so weird. Surely you went down with them. Because I can't remember if they went, I'm sure they yeah. had a couple of yeah. years. He did. 2013 relegation wow. with, because yeah, uh, then he got loaned to Toronto. That was the season that Derby lost to him in the playoff final. Yeah. Annoyingly. I don't know if my mind's playing tricks. I'm sure Ashley Young was at Inter, Inter Milan. I'd say Inter Villa, yeah. Ashley Young. Yeah. All right. I will go. No, I'll see. I'll see. I'll see if you can get another Irishman in the MLS. I'll go Irishman United. And we will say John O'Shea. Oh, pressure's on now. Mm. Oh, no, it's not. Kevin Doyle. There's all these uh, Wolves boy as well. Yeah, uh, I think it was uh, Colorado Rapids, I think, off the top of my head. Joe Mason was another one as well. They were gone yeah, afterwards. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I guess your Wolves boys aren't there. Yeah, that, this is probably going to be the only thing that says you say this. Um, and then MLS Aston Villa, Brad Guzan, surely that's played right. in the MLS. I think he's there now still. Yeah, that's a lot too. Yeah. So Benteke is all I was going to say. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, not American. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, another draw, unfortunately, but still winning 1 0, so that's not bad. Right, into the fourth round. Uh, do I get to start again? We will go maybe a trophy. Let's go for a Champions League winner. Okay, let's go. Mentioned and played with it at the start, Portuguese. But we'll stand then. Yeah. I will go. I'll go Chelsea. Let's say Bundesliga winner. Yeah, sounds good. And I'll end off with Italian team. Surely, yeah, yeah, we'll go Fiorentina. Surely they've had a Portuguese play at some point. I'll go with... Play for PSG? Yeah. Well, that works. Hopefully. All right, I get to start this time. We will go... Do you know what? I'm going to punt to start, which is a really weird thing to do, but I'm pretty sure Rui Costa played for Firenze. Yeah, 200, 250 games for Fiorentina. Yeah, lovely. nice. Good start. Yeah, before AC Milan. Let's go with Bundesliga winner and Chelsea. I'll go with Michael Ballack. Yeah, I think he's got a couple, actually, at um, Kaiserslaut, and I think he got one. Yeah. Which he wouldn't expect. He will go PSG Champions League winner, Thiago Silva. So I was going to say Silva, but I couldn't remember. Where would he have won it? Chelsea, was it? Or, or yeah, one? Chelsea. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go Chelsea, Portuguese. I'll go with Deco. Yeah, Deco. Or Real Morelos. Yeah, they've had a few over the years. Carvalho. Yeah. Paulo Ferreira. Yeah. Jose Basingua. Yeah, Basingua. PSG, Chelsea. Can't say Thiago Silva. So I will say, I don't want to say the other Brazilian. She's not a footballer. <laughs> A comedy act. Surely there's more. Yeah, uh, Nicholas and Elka. That's a much more better footballer. So you need Fiorentina PSG. My Fiorentina knowledge is n is not good. Like I can't even. My mind has gone. I can't even picture many. I think I've got the Bundesliga winner. Weirdly, I've got a feeling. Did he play for Fiorentina? This is a punt for me because either way, I think. The fact that you've picked them, you'll have a decent knowledge of them. Mm. So I might try and nab your Bundesliga winner one. But it's if he played for Fiorentina. And I'm going to say Luca Toni. 
That is the one. I think he does work. I used to love Luca Tony, our football manager in FIFA and stuff. Yeah, he's a great player. Yeah, Fiorentina, and I'm sure he's won it with Bayern at some point. Two Bundesligas, there we go. Nice. And a World Cup. Brilliant player. I'm happy with that shout. Yeah. The problem is that, again, like pre 2010, I don't know PSG other mm. than like Anelka and JJ Okocha. That's yeah. like, that's the best <laughs> of it. One that usually helps is Kevin Prince Boateng played for Fiorentina, but he's never played for PSG. No. Would there be anyone else? Frenchman at Fiorentina. There is Kevin Malqui, but I don't think he's played PSG. He gives like little. I'm not confident with this, so I'm going to have to block you off with Champions League winner, Bundesliga winner. And we will say Owen Hargreaves. Nice. Portuguese Champions League winner. I mean, there's going to be there's going to be plenty. I'm not even going to take a, p a, a, a punt on the PSG Fiorentina one. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll go Bernardo Silva for top left. Champions League I'll Portuguese. Get another silver on. Yeah. Oh, PSG is definitely doable. It's probably something in the 90s, more than likely. Mm. I know one that... De he's kind of similar kind of era to Rui Costa. I'm going to try Pauletta. Nice. Because he definitely got PSG. One of these, like, cheeky bit at Fiorentina. He came up on my social media. I wasn't that aware of him, and he had a fantastic goal-scoring record. Yeah. Yeah, really good. No, unfortunately, mm. just French League and uh, Spain. I'm trying to think if I can even have a last punt at this, to be honest. But like I said, my Fiorentina knowledge is an, an Italian league knowledge is very, very limited. I don't know. I'll say someone like Laurent Blanc. I, I'm fairly certain that's wrong. That's a decent shout, though. Educated guess. <laughs> Barcelona, Inter, I Man United. Play in Italy, but yeah. Napoli. But no, oh, uh, a couple of Italian shouts in there. No Fiorentina. But yeah, that's that's that kind of like era. Mm. I don't know why I'm going to take the punt of Borgia Valero. Shout. Played at Fiorentina. Did he ever play for I PSG? Mm. Uh, two times at Fiorentina as well. That's annoying. Bit of West Brom. <laughs> Good team in the Midlands. I, I think I'm going to pass. Well, I, don't, I don't think I know this one. I'm not even... Yeah. I don't know if there is anyone, to be honest. It might not be doable. <laughs> there is somebody. I've just quickly somebody. looked. Oh, there is somebody. What nation is he? Does that give it away? Uh, that, that probably will give it away, yeah. I'll try Kevin Malqui then, because he's French. Monaco, Saint-Étienne. That's, that's really painful. Yeah. Who is it then? Jonathan Iconi. And he plays for Fiorentina now. Oh, yeah. Four, four games for their senior teams. So, yeah, yeah it, it is doable, at least. Yeah. Fortunately, neither of us get the point. If anyone was like there screaming a code for PSG. <laughs> Fair play, Fiorentina, yeah. then well done to you. <laughs> It's weird, his, his French career was only in 2019, mm. and then he's not kind of weird. But I guess yeah. that's when he kind of had a good season. Mm. They're all right, the French, for the attackers. But yeah, let's go into the final round. What would you like to start with? Let's go with a little bit of Barcelona. Let's throw in a German team by Leverkusen. Tiago Alonso doing well? Yeah. New Liverpool manager by the time this video's up. <laughs> uh, let's go with... Sorry to stick it on the Portuguese team. Won the, won the Portuguese league. Won the uh, Liga Nos, isn't it? Yeah. Let's go. I'm going to go Monaco. you got to earn this win. Yeah. Let's go with Spanish. And I've got Barca on the same row, but might give us some... Yeah, I think we just in there. And I'll end off with... Could I do it? Could I do it? Actually, I could do it. Oh, it's the Liga Nos one I'm question marking over. I really want to say Dark. Derby, the Liga Nos, that I'm like borderline whether he, he had a great season at Porto. It's whether they won the league though and the Barcelona. I'll just put that to the side of Barcelona Derby player. I'm sure there is somebody though for that as well. There probably would be, yeah. In the 90s, we got loads of Italians and whatnot. To be fair, yeah, just go uh, anyone to play in the EFL and then Derby can be included. Yeah, EFL. Yeah. Right. You start. I'll take the middle then. Monaco won the Portuguese league. I'll stick to the wall team. I'll go Jao Martinia. Very nice. I'd assume he's won it. He was there. Yes, sir. Uh... Let's go. It's my EFL one Liga Nos one I'm question marking over, but I'm going to go Spain EFL. Omar Mascarell, former Real Madrid player. Did Berber spins in his own half a derby? I'll go with, I think he's at Leverkusen. One Liga Nos, Leverkusen. Alex Grimaldo? Have I got the yeah. one German team or is he there? No, you've got it. Bang on. Yeah. Xavi Alonso brought him there. I'd assume he's won it. Yeah, we're both oh. sure. We're not even checking them, do you? I'm, I'm I'll, I'll, che I'll check that. I'm fairly certain he's... Uh, yeah, he's, yeah. Won it. he's won it three times. Yeah, sweet. So I need EFL, one Liga Nos. It's whether I take my punt of me Derby player. He had a great <laughs> season at Porto. To be honest, I might, yeah, I might just have to go for one of your lot. And we will say Ruben Neves. Ah, that was That's my next not... guess. I if think the one I wanted to try. I yeah, I'm pretty sure Neves. Yeah. Or did he not? I don't think he did. No, no he got no, championship. He didn't. He didn't. No, no. Well, 
three seasons. What a fraud. So you can win it too now if you do get it. We had quite a few players that were sort of like, had played senior games, but it's if they would have won the league. And, and if Porto didn't win it in those few years before, mm, kind of Benfica, I would assume yeah. Benfica would have won it. And someone that we had on loan, and I think he was at Reading on loan as well, was Ola John. And I'm sure he played some senior games for Benfica, but if he's got a winner's medal, I'm not sure. So that is a big punt, Ola John. Ola John. He doesn't have one league in us. He has uh, three. Oh my God. The... <laughs> he was genuinely one of the worst players I've seen in the wall, wall shirt. And he played 26 times for them in 14-15 in the first team. Wow. I don't know how he's managed that. But yeah, that, that's a great shot to win that three in a row there. We'll fill in the rest of the board. The one I wanted to try for EFL Liga Nos was Alberto Bueno. But I, I don't think he would have won it with Porto because it's kind of similar-ish era to uh, Ruben Neves, to be fair. 15-19. to 19, Only mm. played four games. Yeah, never never got... He only got an under-19s championship. Right Barca player. EFL did uh, Bojan or Boyan. Did he play in the championship with Stoke? Or? That's a good shout. There. Yeah, he played 21 times, uh, Boyan. Little Bojan coming in clutch. Monaco Barca, Abidal. Yeah, I think uh, he's quite an underrated know... player, Abidal. He doesn't, he doesn't get spoken of enough yeah. from that team, does he? No, he's a cracking player he was. Do you know Barca by Leverkusen? So I've got a feeling they would have had a few sort of Spaniards. Danny Carver how did play for Leverkusen, but he's obviously... No, Real Madrid. Real. Real. But I, do, Real. I do know one if you don't know it. No, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. It's no. uh, Otto Vidal. Shout, yeah. Right, start his career and then pops in as well. Spain Leverkusen, because you've taken Grimaldo. I had like a striker Leverkusen that was Spanish. Well, you, Carvajal could Carvajal could go in it. Yeah, could, yeah. I literally just mentioned Danny Carvajal ten seconds ago. Yeah, I was gonna say. I'll just. <laughs> and then Spain, Monaco, Cesc Fabregas. Yeah, it's probably more. But yeah, that fills in the board. You do win the episode two 0 Very nice, Dave. Yeah. yeah, it's been a tricky episode to be fair. So it's a good, it's a good two 0 victory as well. I'm very happy that I held my own almost. I know I sort of ended up having to lean on the walls players quite a lot to get the win. So I'm sure people at home are thinking, well, he's either sort of cheating or they're going to be very impressed with my Wolves knowledge one of the two so <laughs> yeah but no, I've enjoyed it mate and no, I really enjoyed it yeah I should, I should have thrown in the derby at the end there because there, there would have been some Benfica or you know Porto link somewhere but yeah hopefully guys did enjoy today's episode make sure you check out Dave drop him a sub and all that good stuff drop a like on the video and we'll catch you all next time